how diseases can be prevented and how they can be controlled. Prevention of stroke or reservoir. By early diagnosis, by notification of the disease, by epidemiological investigation, and through isolation, treatment, and quarantine. Instruction of disease transmission. By preventing the susceptible host, immunization, and health education. Recent advances. The fluid dynamics of disease transmission. For an infectious disease such as coronavirus disease to spread, contact needs to be established between an infectious host and a susceptible one. In a range of populations and infectious diseases, peer to peer contact models involve complex interactions of a pathogen with a fluid phase, such as isolated complex fluid droplets or a multi phase cloud of droplets. This is true for escalations including cough or seizures in humans and animals, bursting bubbles leading to microbe sized droplets in a range of indoor and outdoor settings, or infecting vein drops and airborne pathogens in foliar diseases, transferring pathogens from water to air wax. Our mechanistic understanding of how pathogens actually transfer from one host or reservoir to the next remains greatly limited with the global consequences that we are all experiencing with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. This review discusses the emergent area of the food dynamics of the disaster. It highlights a new frontier and very multi-state food physics from interfacial to multi-phase and complex flows that one contact between an infected source and a susceptible target in a range of species. Now the MCQs. A person XYZ has presented with symptoms of typhoid like nausea, vomiting, pain abdomen, and gross pores and abdomen. Which of the following would decrease the transmission rate of this waterborne pathogen? To weight treatment, health education, hand washing, providing infected people with antibiotics. This is alpha, that is pure education. Cattle are allowed to pasture in a field that contains the farmhouse well, and the farmer's family becomes ill with a gastrointestinal pathogen after drinking water. What type of transmission of infectious agent would this be? Alpha biological vector transmission, beta direct contact transmission, C indirect contact transmission, and B vehicle transmission. C? Yes, it is the indirect contact transmission as it is transmitted to water. If blanket from a trial with chicken pox is likely to be contaminated with the virus that causes chicken pox, that is the cellular doctor virus. What is the blanket in the dynamics of the disease process? A. Fumai, B. Host, C. Pathogen, B. Vector. A. A. It is A. Fumai. The mosquito bites a person who subsequently develops a fever and abdominal wear. What type of transmission would this be? Mechanical vector transmission, biological vector transmission, direct contact transmission, or vehicle transmission? Vehicle transmission? No, it is biological vector transmission. In the mid 19th century, an epidemiologist suggested that cholera was caused by drinking water in which an invisible agent is present. This type of association is A. Specificity, B. Temporal sequence, C. Biological plausibility, D. Consistency, E. Gradient. C? Yes, it is C. Biological plausibility. 
Early diagnosis allows the person in the family to educate themselves, seek support, that works for them, and make informed decisions on them. Early diagnosis informed treatment is focused on A. Disease identification B. Force factors C. Environmental factors D. Restoration of ability E. Behavior modification A. Yes, it is A. Disease identification. Early diagnosis informs treatment aims at identification of the disease. At Lahore Grammar School, a student of class 2 developed mum. He was isolated from other children till swelling subsided, and his brother of class 4, who looked apparently healthy, was also advised to be away from school for about a fortnight. His brother's type of carrier state is most likely to be. A. Incubating, B. Healthy, C. Convention, B. Temporary, C. Chronic. A. B. Yes, it is A. B. Incubated type of cell. Increased number of malaria cases was reported in time intervals between August to October and March to April. There are two different periods in the year where there increased malaria transmission is reported. Such an occurrence of malaria cases in time will give a distribution which is A. Unimodal, B. Sporadic, C. Bimodal, B. Endemic, E. Multimodal. C? Yes, it is C. C. There are two peaks, so it is a bimodal. Right. 10 cases of food poisoning have been reported in hospital. Two out of these developed mild gastrointestinal symptoms, four developed moderate dehydration, but recovered, and two succumbed to the disease. The characteristics of organism of food poisoning that produces the severest form of the disease is A. Infectivity, B. Pathogenicity, C. Virulence, B. Communicability, E. Resistibility. Anyone? A? No, it is C. Virulence. In a poor community, there is a high prevalence of acute diarrhea disease. The best method for preventing this health problem in the long run is antidiarrheal drugs, immunization against cholera and typhoid, provision of sanitary latrine, use of boiled water, living in fly proofing. B? Yes, it is B. Use of boiled water. Here is the key. And this is. Thank you very much, Dr. Raja. Ji, boy, Shukriya, apne bhot acha present kiya. Very nicely presented and very clear concepts. Thank you very much. Allah, peace.